And now, Hy-Vee's Get Cooking with Chef Andrew. I'm Chef Andrew with Hy-Vee, and with Thanksgiving next week, everybody's gonna have green bean casserole on their table. So I'm gonna give you my recipe. It's made from scratch, but it's pretty easy, and trust me, people are gonna be talking about it until next year. So we're gonna start off by melting a couple tablespoons of butter in a saute pan. We're gonna throw in some shallots and garlic, and then add uh, some mushrooms. So I've got some shiitake mushrooms here and then some diced portobellos. We're gonna let those cook until the mushrooms cook down a little bit and release some of their moisture. Now we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of flour and stir that in with the butter. We're making a roux here and we're just gonna let it cook for a couple minutes to get rid of that raw flour flavor. Now we're gonna add our chicken stock. And you just wanna slowly add that so you don't get any clumps. We're basically making uh, a gravy or a nice sauce here. And then we're gonna throw in some heavy cream as well. Let this reduce down for about eight to 10 minutes. So now that our sauce is thickened, we're gonna add some aged white cheddar. It's been aged about 10 years. And then just a little bit of cream sherry. Stir that together until it's nice and melted. So one of the keys to this green bean casserole is using fresh green beans. I've taken those beans and just put them in a pot of boiling water and blanched them and then pulled them out and shocked them in some cold water so we don't overcook them. I'm gonna take our sauce here that we made and just pour this over the top of the green beans. And then you can just lightly toss those together. I'm gonna to top the green beans with this mixture of sliced almonds, some panko breadcrumbs, and fried onions. And then we're gonna bake that in a 400 degree oven for about 10 to 15 minutes until it's nice and bubbly. Here's the key to making this the ultimate green bean casserole. Once this came out of the oven, I topped it with some baked onion rings. They'll be talking about it for years to come. For this recipe and more, visit hy